Hey guys, it's Frank from Cruising with Wheels. Today's story is about an NCL concierge that did their job and did it well. In this episode of my Tales from the High Seas, Cholette Hayag, you're a dream. This is for you. This story begins when we decided to set sail on the NCL Jade, October of 2017. Now, um, it was a special cruise, um, and as it turned out, it wasn't just for us, because at the last minute, our friends, Dave and Darlene, decided to come with us. So, we flew to New York City uh, to board the ship, and uh, sail out of the port in New York. Now, after the car service picked us up at the airport, we got to the port in New York. And we're used to it. We've sailed out of there before. And uh, since I'm in a wheelchair, you know, we were kind of escorted quickly in. And we got to uh, the cruise uh, check-in counter. And we were standing there and, you know, easy peasy breezy, you know, passports, tickets, you know, really fast. And so the, uh, the cruise agent looks at us and says, okay, you're all set. Here's your sale and sign cards. Um, let me get someone to take you over to the Haven Lounge. And so Kevin and I looked at each other and we're like, what? And so we're, we're like, oh, no, I'm sorry. There's a mistake. We're not in the Haven. And she says, oh, no, I have you right here in the computer. You're flagged as VIP guests. So we'll be taking you over to the Haven. And we were like, Kevin and I were like so confused because we were like, okay, sh uh, they have us confused with someone else. Okay, uh, and we didn't know why they kept talking about taking us over to the Haven Lounge to wait uh, to board the ship. So we were kind of just all looking at each other. And so then um, a, a guy came over and he said, uh, okay, I'm going to escort you over. And we said to them, well, you know, we're traveling with another couple. So, you know, we'll just, we'll just wait out here like we usually do, okay, uh, and just board with everybody else. It's, it's no big deal because uh, they're with us, and we don't want to leave them here. And they're like, oh, no problem. They can come with you, all four of you. Come on, let's go. So the guy grabs my wheelchair and, you know, we're going, and we're still kind of looking at each other like, I'll bet you we're going to get there, and it's all a big mistake, you know, because we're absolutely sure it's a big mistake. Even though she says, no, I have you right here in the NCL computer, uh, you're flagged as VIP guests, we're still going, no, I'm not believing it. So we got to the Haven Lounge, and... It's, it was a large room, and it kind of reminded me of like an airport uh, gate area. It was just rows and rows and rows of chairs, and um, they, uh, they had some banquet tables, and they were set up with coffee and tea, juices, water. They had sandwiches and Danish and all sorts of things to eat, and we were like, oh, well, hello. Isn't this nice? So Dave, Darlene... And I kind of roll over to find a spot to sit. Well, they need a spot to sit. I've already got my spot to sit. Uh, and Kevin kind of, you know, takes the lead and walks over to the banquet table uh, where you see, um, you know, the official NCL staff sitting to find out, you know, well, what's kind of going on here. And that's where we met our beautiful Cholette. So Kevin talks to Cholette and she says, you know, no, you're flagged as VIP guests and I will be your personal concierge for the week. And she proceeds to, uh, you know, go over all the, the things that she'll be doing with us. I mean, we've never had a concierge. This was a total shocker. I mean, this was a total shocker. It was a total surprise. We did not expect this at all. 
Uh, so again, we have to say thank you to Andrea, our public relations coordinator, who set this all up for us. We were so surprised. So after uh, a few minutes with uh, talking with Cholette, uh, Kevin comes over and he goes, no, we're, you know, they, they got us flagged. And um, so, yeah, she's going to, uh, her name is Cholette, and um, she's going to be our concierge. And so she's going to be helping us all week with, you know, whatever we need. And I'm thinking, are you kidding me? Really? Holy moly. Wow. Thank you. Um, what a treat. So we were kind of excited. So after a while, and, and uh, actually while we were sitting there uh, and going through some uh, phone issues that Kevin had, um, we actually met some of our YouTube uh, Cruising with Wheels subscribers. Because all of a sudden you hear, oh my God, is that Kevin and Frank from Cruising with Wheels? Oh my God. Oh my God, I know them. I know them. So, we, you know, we're like, we're busy chitty chatting and, uh, you know, we're all waiting in the area and finally it's time to board. And so they start boarding all the Haven guests up, up into the ship. And then, of course, I get wheelchair assist and uh, they show up and uh, they get us all on board. And uh, Cholette got us to our cabin. Uh, it was like, wow. It's like, wow, primo service here. Um, she was so sweet. Uh, we just loved her. We were so shocked uh, to have this. Uh, but we, we got in the cabin, and um, we see um, all the, the treats and the gifts that are laid out on the bed. Uh, the NCL usually does because they kind of lay out everything for you. Your excursion tickets are there. Uh, any gifts that anyone has sent you are there. And, of course, there's a welcome uh, on board uh, notice from Andrea Public uh, Relations, and uh, we, you know, we were happy to see that. And if we could only have talked to her in person and say, thanks, Andrea, we love you. Thanks for sending us our angel, Cholette. Now, as I said, this particular cruise, uh, which was to the Southern Caribbean, uh, was like, Oh gosh, it was like 11, 12 day cruise. It was a special cruise because this was for my 60th birthday. And as an added bonus, ah, it was also during Halloween. Now, Cholette had told us that we would be able to eat breakfast at Moderno's and lunch at Cagney Steakhouse every day if we wanted to. And so, um, you know, take you right up there. And we said, well, you know, we don't want to go eat there because, you know, again, we're with another couple. We're with Dave and Darlene. And I don't want to just kind of say, well, well, you know, we're going to Cagney's for lunch. Too bad for you. You know, hit the buffet. And so Cholette was like, oh, okay. Well, I you know, they're, you know they're not part of this, but you know what? We'll let them eat in Cagney's with you, you know, for this first day. How about that? And we were like, oh, thank you so much, because you know what? Not only was this a, a surprise treat for us, but, you know, this is going to be a real treat for Dave and Darlene. So Cholette let Dave and Darlene uh, come up to Cagney Steakhouse and eat lunch with us that day. Now, she handled any issues that we had during the cruise, whether it was uh, specialty dining reservations, uh, uh, getting in to see the shows, uh, uh, tender boat issues, uh, which we ended up having, uh, anything that we needed, uh, we, we picked up the phone, we had her card, we knew her phone extension, and we gave her a call. And so she was there 24-7 to help us out. Now, at a certain point during the cruise, we wanted to kind of coordinate our dinner schedules with Dave and Darlene, because, you know, they had booked this cruise at the last minute. And we had, you know, booked it well ahead of time and had, you know, 90 days before sailing had booked all our reservations at, you know, the main dining rooms and the specialty restaurants. So we said, you know, Cholette, um, there are certain nights we want to get together, but our reservations are already done. What can you do to help us out? So one night, Kevin and I were uh, scheduled to eat at Jasmine Gardens, um, the Asian complex. And she says, you know what, you know, go to your dinner there, and is it okay if I meet you there? 
uh, and we can kind of sit down and go over. And we're like, sure. So we went down and we were eating our uh, our, our our dinner, and she uh, shows up, and you know she sits down, and we're like, hey, how you doing? And we had already brought a copy of our dinner schedule for uh, the entire cruise, and we kind of put in notes for her of where she could kind of work in Dave and Darlene, and kind of gave her options of, you know, could you work them in maybe here at Cagney's for dinner, or maybe here at La Bistro, you know, we're, we're open, you know, whatever you can do, but we would like to spend some dinner time with them. And she's like, okay. So, you know, we chitted chatted for a few minutes, and she, you know, took our schedule sheet, and off she went. And I thought, wow, there's personal service. I mean, she came right down while we were having dinner, sat with us for a few minutes, worked out, hammered out the details, and off she went uh, to do what she needed to do. It was really awesome. Now, she also set up, um, there was a private dinner at Tapanyaki's uh, that was just set up for the four of us, for me, Kevin, Dave, and Darlene. And that was done uh, because we had an issue on uh, a prior cruise on the NCL Gem, uh, Tapanyaki's just didn't work out for us because um, it was, uh, the room was way out of control and it was crazy and there was a lot of screaming and yelling, a lot of noise and I just couldn't handle it. And so this sailing, uh, we wanted to do Tapanyaki again, but we were very hesitant, but we thought, you know, maybe if we talk to the hostess ahead of time and we're able to get us seated maybe closer to the door and out of everybody's way, uh, that if things got a little scary again, we would just quietly roll out. And so we had that conversation, but I think Choletta Reigns says, you know what, we're going to do just the four of you, a special dinner, just the four of you, uh, with the chef, private dinner, tapenaki. And um, it was it was wonderful because, you know, the last time the food was to die for, it's just the atmosphere what was going on at the other uh, set of tables was uh, out of control because they were screaming, yelling, they were drunk. And it made our experience and everyone else in our section, uh, it was very bad. So thanks for that because uh, it was uh, a, a real much a one-on-one -on -one with the chef. And uh, we all had a great time. Then, of course, you know, we're in and out of our cabin. And what do we see? Oh, gifties. Yep, little gift platters. Oh, one from Cholette. And not only did she give us gifts, but a lot of the gifts that we got from, like, bottles of champagne, uh, wine. Uh, we had a lot of canopies and hors d'oeuvres and chocolate cover this and chocolate cover that. We had... Um, we had arranged with Cholette to have those gifts sent to Dave and Darlene's room uh, because we wanted to share the wealth. Uh, and uh, they were so excited and they were so thrilled. And, uh, you know, it's funny, uh, Darlene was like, oh, my God, we are so happy to have hooked our wagon with you guys. Well, we had such an awesome time uh, with them sailing with us. And guess what, guys? We're doing it again when we sail on the NCL getaway uh, this November for Kevin's 44th birthday. Dave and Darlene will be joining us on our return visit for all of you uh, to see them in our vlogs. Now, Cholette didn't expect uh, to have, you know, two extra guests, you know, kind of shoved on her. I mean, she thought she was just going to be taking care of Kevin and myself, and here we show up, and we've got Dave and Darlene with us. But you know what? She always smiled. She never complained. She was happy to help us out, coordinate everything that we needed to coordinate uh, with Dave and Darlene. And that's how it should be. Um, someone who takes care of you, she always went the extra mile. She went out of her way and she took care of any issue that came up. Even as you all know, the big issues we had with our cabin, uh, with the toilet that didn't work all week. Um, and we were dealing with guest relations, we were dealing with the uh, uh, director of housekeeping, the hotel director. I mean, we were with everybody. It was a major issue. You've all seen the videos. And, you know, at one point we were like, 
oh, God, Cholette, this is such a problem. And she said, what? And she, she didn't know. And we said, oh, um, yeah, we're having this issue, but you know, we've, we've been dealing with all these people, but the issue just isn't being fixed. And she says, oh, I'll be on it. Don't worry. I'll, I'll be part of this now. I'm going to be in the loop. So she, we were happy now to have uh, another extra set of eyes and ears to help us out with this big problem that we had with our cabin bathroom. Thank you for Ch you know thank you Cholette because she you know she didn't look at us and go oh well that's too bad or oh okay well you know they're handling it. She looked at us and said oh okay don't don't you worry I'm on it you know I'll be following up I'm now part of it so you know thanks Cholette that's how it should be and that's how she was. Now she also arranged for us to do a sit down with the hotel director. Mirsad Buchak, I hope I said his name right, um, and she arranged that. Now we usually, when we go on our cruises, uh, we have a sit down with the hotel directors because we want to pick their brain, and we want to get as much information from uh, the hotel director of a cruise ship to be able to pass that information along to all our uh, cruising subscribers to our channel, and so she arranged that, and. She uh, got us to sit down, and it was a great time with Mursad. Uh, and uh, we picked his brain. Uh, he picked our brain. We talked a lot about uh, traveling in a wheelchair or a scooter, the handicap accessibility of a cruise ship, and the th problems and the issues that arise on a ship that maybe they don't realize that we encounter. And in talking to him, he said, um, oh, I knew you were coming. He said, I got an email from Andrea, public relations. She sent me an email letting me know that the two of you from Cruising with Wheels uh, were going to be on board, uh, were going to be filming, and she, she said to me, they are the media, and they will be filming, and you will be seeing them, and they will probably want to contact you. And it's funny, I thought, wow. You had an email on us? And he said, yeah, yeah, I got it right here. Yeah, right here. She let me know right up front before you got on board to expect you. And I said, well, that's funny because, you know, as we're going through the cruise ship, you know, we're rolling through and we're filming, crew members were stopping us uh, going, are you those people? Are you those photo people? And we're like, uh, yeah, yeah, we're the film people. I don't know what they wanted to call us. And they're like, oh, hi, how are you? We're like, we're fine. Oh, take a picture. So even the crew knew, you know, we, we were kind of everywhere uh, with our camera equipment, filming the restaurants, the photo galleries, the atrium, um, uh, into theaters, uh, you know, all over the ship. We were trying to get as much filming done uh, to be able to bring these vlogs to all our subscribers. So I thought, again, I was like, first of all, I'm thinking, wow, thanks, Andrea. Uh, and two, gee, thanks, Gillette, for getting this sit down for us. Now, one day we had an issue because uh, we were um, tendering into Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. And because I'm in a wheelchair, there's no way I'm going to be able to get to the island. I can't get on the tender boat with my wheelchair. And so, and it ha that happened that day, happened to be my birthday. So, um, for those of you have, that have seen the vlogs, uh, uh, Kathy and Steve Millian, uh, uh, subscribers uh, that were also on board with us, kind of spent the time with me while Kevin uh, got on the tender boat. But he had an issue because um, you have to get tender tickets. So, you know, he called Cholat and said, you know, I really need to get into Punta Cana. I want to get in there. I'm just going to be there for a while. going to grab some souvenirs and, you know, Christmas ornaments, and I need to get back to the ship, you know, because I don't want to leave Frank alone that long, even though he's with Kathy and Steve. It is his birthday. So right away, Cholette was on it, and she was like, also Kevin got the, you know, got the message, okay, meet me real quick right now up to Modernos. Uh, you got five minutes to get there. I've got you on the last tender boat. So Kevin's like rushing uh, and going crazy trying to meet, Cho, uh, meet Cholette up there. Take a look. Hey guys. Whew, I forgot to get a tender ticket today. 
we're in Punta Cana and I'm running through the garden buffet to or the garden cafe I always say the wrong thing but it's the buffet see we're running I'm running through I have to meet our concierge Cholat on deck 13 so that she can escort me off the ship to the tender. Hi! Hi. <laughs> so, uh, now I'm at the elevator. Going to 13. Ugh. So, we'll see you when we're on the tender boat. I'm so glad that we have a concierge. So, I don't, oh I can take the stairs. So I don't, uh, so I'm able to get off the ship. Anyways, we just had a nice chat with some of our subscribers. Kathy. Wait. Hi. Hi. Hey, look, everybody's here. I was just telling everybody how I was stupid and forgot to get my tender ticket. It was uh, after I talked to her. This is our concierge. Okay. After I talked to her this morning, she said she'd be here between 10.45 and 11.15. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to eat uh, breakfast. No problem. So. So if you're ready to go, we can escort you down now. Sure. Yeah? Okay. All right. How about me? <laughs> you want to come with me? Yeah, I wish, I wish, could, I wish I could. Aww, yeah. You could show me around Punta Cana. Yeah. Have you been? I want to go outside and ready for sleep. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have to wait for the magic elevator and then we will ask her to you down to the gangway. Perfect. You see, you see how great they are to us on uh, the NCL Jade. Book that cruise. Now we also had a little discrepancy on one, another one of our excursions uh, where we did the trolley train uh, in Curacao and the tickets um, said one time like 945 but the printout we had when we booked it at home said 1045 and we were like well which is it 945 1045 what's the deal you know we don't want to be early we don't want to be late we didn't want to miss it so uh, call Cholat. And, uh, you know, toot sweet, she handled it. She says, nope, nope, it is officially 945. You will be uh, at the correct time that your excursion ticket says. So we all, four of us, went on uh, that really super nice trolley train ride. It was really awesome. And she also handled um, the Wi-Fi. Now, at this time uh, on the Jade, to be able to access all the social media that we needed, which is YouTube and Facebook and the Twitter and all of that, you know, that's not available to everybody on the ship. That's part of, at the time, was part of NCL's corporate account. And you had to be on there. So that was arranged for us. They got us on the NCL corporate account, uh, which is not available to, to the guests uh, because, you know, they knew we were filming. They knew we were going to broadcast. They knew we needed access to YouTube. And so that was all arranged for us. Uh, they don't do that anymore. I, they don't have the corporate accounts anymore. Uh, now that is available to everybody if, you, if, you, if you're cruising now. But back then on the Jade, that's how it was handled. And again, you know, another win for Gillette. You know, she just took care of everything. And then the cruise was coming to an end. Oh, we were sad. You know, it was a, it was a beautiful Southern Caribbean cruise, uh, sailing with friends, uh, being taken care of by Cholette. Uh, and, and because we had priority VIP embarkation, we also apparently had VIP disembarkation. So uh, she sent us the, uh, uh, the golden luggage tags. Um, and not only did we have that, but she also did it for Dave and Darlene because we were traveling with them. And she wanted to make sure that the four of us were all going to be together. Our luggage was all going to be tagged with the gold priority tags. And that we would all not have to worry about going to different sections for disembarking and for finding our luggage. And that's 
um, you know, the, the one step up uh, uh, that we got with her. And again, it wasn't, oh, well, that's too bad. Uh, you know, they're not part of this whole priority. Uh, they're on their own. You know, she was like, no, no, they're part of your group. They're your friends. They're sailing with you. I will make them also VIP priority disembarkation. I will also get them the golden priority tags. And you will all be together as you should be. So in closing, I just want to say that this is what a great concierge should be like. Cholette is the perfect example of who you want to take care of you. VIP, Haven, or whatever. She's the girl you want to get. So, I just want to say Cholette, from Kevin and myself, we want to thank you for the great experience we had with you aboard the NCL Jade. And I want to recommend to everyone out there that if you sail on the Jade, you look for our girl Cholette. And you will always get a smile and a hello. And uh, she'll take care of you if she needs to. Gillette, you continue to be the best that you are. So, I want to say on behalf of Kevin and myself from Cruising with Wheels, make sure you follow us on our YouTube channel. Click that subscribe button. And remember, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And remember to always travel safe and cruise often.